Hello my loves, I have some exciting news, not really that exciting for you but exciting for me but I officially am 100% my own boss so I thought I would bring you guys along for a little work day because I really only do like training and sort of nutrition content and just thought I'd bring you along for a bit of like a business kind of vibe. So unfortunately a few weeks ago I ended my stint I guess of taking classes. I've been doing that for a year now at Never Quit and I loved it so much but I had to sort of do what was right for me. I did not want to leave. I actually loved it and I loved being there but um, yeah just kind of had to take the next step in my work life and now I completely work for myself which is super exciting. I have a lot more time in my day now to get stuff done so I thought I'd bring you along for a work day in my life and what I get up to, I guess, behind the scenes and what you guys don't normally see what I get up to in my day. I'm hoping as well that having this extra time means I can bring out more videos for you guys. Um, if you do want that, let me know what kind of stuff you like seeing so far, if there's anything new that you want to see. So I know that you guys do love my like nutrition sort of content and my days of eats and all that. And like, I guess most of the time I meal prep my meals. I love meal prepping, but there are... Sometimes where I am not meal prepping, like I've been traveling a lot lately when I run out of my meal prep and I have something that always saves my life and it is my you foods and my order actually just arrived. So I thought I would show you guys what I have got. I absolutely love you foods. I feel like I've tried all the instant meals out there and so many of them literally are like drowned in sauce and they're super soggy or they're just so plain but i feel like you foods is like that perfect thing in the middle i remember back in 2019 i decided i was going to like i was living at home and i was like no i'm going to be independent and i'm going to start like making my own meals and that didn't happen i ended up just getting you foods so i love it so much they have such great variety of meals and i'm going to show you guys what I've got, but I highly recommend you foods if you do need like some meals on the go or if you want to have like your meals prepped for you. They're so good. Keep them in your fridge and yeah, I love them so much. So we've got a Thai red curry, a chicken penne. I get this one every week. A beef lasagna is creamy chicken carbonara. I actually don't like carbonara, but the you foods carbonara is insane. I love it so much. Spaghetti bolognese, this one, beef mazaman curry. I know that was probably wrong. Classic roast chicken and veg. The smoky barbecue chicken. So we've got a lot of chicken in this order. And then we've also got a butter chicken. So clearly love my chicken. And yeah, if you guys wanted to give you foods a try, I have a discount code for you guys. It is you Olivia. So Y O U, then my name Olivia, all in one word. I'll leave a little like link as well in the description of the video. But the discount code will get you up to two hundred dollars off your first five boxes, which is amazing. Alrighty, now let's get into the video. Good morning, darlings. Oakley! <laughs> get your hand off there! He's so cheeky. Are you ready for a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Cheek! Mr. Bear, you still got a little, got a little scarf on today. I love this life. Okay, we just finished our walk and Oakley Bell was a very good boy today. We recently did some dog training with him. So basically we have our good and our bad walks and he was very good today, weren't you? Very obedient. I think he likes a head scratch. Okay, I'm home, it is 10 past seven, normally in the past, I would be rushing home. I'd wanna be home like before seven. If I wasn't home before seven, I would spiral into this big stress because it wouldn't be enough time for me to eat brekkie, do my journaling, get ready. Now I can just get home when I feel like it and I'm not in a rush to eat. I'm also not hungry, so I don't really need to like force down my breakfast right now which is a nice feeling. There's a few things that I wanna start doing now that I have a little bit more time in my mornings. So number one being, I really wanna like knuckle down on Oakley's training. I don't have a rush to get home anymore. So I feel like I need to spend a little bit more time at the beach, like just like reminding him of what we've taught him. 
so that we haven't wasted all our money on training for nothing. I also really want to stay on top of keeping the house clean because obviously a messy space makes me stressed, which we don't like. And yeah, I feel very reset post, since coming up from Bali, I feel like I'm ready for a big reset. I literally want to move houses. Like I'm ready for so much change right now, but I'm obviously not gonna move house because that's a bit dramatic. But I just want to like change so much. I want to change our bedroom. I want to buy all new furniture. I want to like film different stuff. Like I literally want to get a clean in our house and just make it really clean and tidy so I can just like start everything again. But yeah, I'm really, really inspired, which is fun. I also really, really, really need to have a better work-life balance now that I have more time. In the past, I would literally schedule my work to be until like 4.35, like the normal, like a normal person. But I would keep going until like 8.30. I'd be still working while I'm eating my dinner. I'd be still working while I'm cooking my dinner. And I'd be like doing work in bed. And it was just like an ongoing stressful routine that just never ended. So now I really, really, really want to switch off at like... 5.30, 5 o'clock, whatever, go for a walk and I want to actually be out, like I want to actually sit down on the couch and like watch Netflix because I have not done that since like lockdown. I don't watch TV, like I don't watch TV shows. I feel like I've never really finished like a season of anything. So I need to start being normal basically. All right, we are starting our work day at just before 20 past seven, which is very exciting. I honestly like don't even know where to start. I'm quite behind with all my admin. Obviously I've just been on a holiday, but it is the 1st of August. So I feel like it is just perfect timing to be doing this now. So I've got a lot to get done today, but I don't have to do any like actually filming of anything, which is quite good because I'm so behind that I actually physically can't film anything yet because I have not planned anything. So I've sort of like started writing a little bit of a list of what I need to get done today, but I think I'm gonna start off working through my calendar. Basically for like the jobs that I do, I have, I'll get given like dates within the month that I have to upload. And then what I do with those dates is I like backtrack and find time within my schedule where I can actually plan it, draft it, film it, submit it. And then also have time for like reshooting if required. Hopefully not. So I'm gonna do that now because I have two calendars. I've got my personal one and then I've got my shared one with my manager. So I go through my calendar with my manager, which will have all the dates for my work. And we're gonna pop that in my calendar and figure out if everything's all fine. So also something I feel like I should mention, obviously I work completely for myself now, but I also do have a manager that helps me out, which is amazing her name is Leah and she has like literally saved my life I used to manage myself completely and on top of being a PT and working a lot more and training a lot more and it was like I literally like couldn't think of anything worse than going back to that time it was so stressful there was like a lot of admin involved in what I do and having to do all the creative stuff and all the emails and everything it was like I literally just would not respond to emails. It was so much. I'd see them all come in and I'd just be like, no. Nah. So I've now got Leah who helps me. She has all my emails for me and like what am I invoicing? And it is really, really fucking helpful. So that saves that. But I still obviously have control over my emails and everything so I can see what's going on. But I just don't have to respond, which is amazing. I also have like a couple other emails. That I'll still, I still have another like few clients that I'll manage. But um, yeah, best thing ever. So I'm gonna go through my calendar now and that should only take me around half an hour. And I'm gonna sort out my whole month of August. So I actually feel like I'm a little bit on top of things. Okay, it has been like 45 minutes. It was definitely not a half an hour job, but um, I'm just getting so far in my calendar, like putting in all my flight times and like literally everything. So it's taking a while, but we love that. I'm gonna feel so much better once it's done. And then I feel like I can actually start probably working. Okay, it is quarter past eight. And I finally finished planning August. Um, wow, we got into detail. 
So exciting. I've virtually planned every single detail of every single thing I have to do this month. Let's have brekkie. Okay, so today is Tuesday morning. I got back from Bali Sunday night and I felt fine, but a little bit nauseous. Then yesterday morning, so Monday, I woke up like super late because I landed, well, I got home at like 2 a.m. Woke up super late and I woke up with like a kid, you know, a Bali belly. And it was so weird because I wasn't even in Bali. And also like, it sounds really bad, but on Sunday when I was flying in the past, there's been so many times where I've gotten sick at the airport from something I ate because like one time I got salmonella from a um, focaccia at the airport. So I'm like, I don't eat at the airport anymore. Well, I don't eat food like that. So I literally ate almond croissants for lunch and dinner because I was like, I just want to eat things that can't make me sick. So I ate croissants to avoid getting sick and I got sick. Don't know how. Also like it took so many precautions, but anyways, now I don't think that I actually had belly belly. I think it was my parasites because they're probably still there. So I'm back on my parasite cleanse. I've got these little disgusting things that I take and now I feel fine. So that was really weird, but I had no appetite all day yesterday. I could barely eat anything, could barely stomach anything. Same with on Sunday, I had lost my appetite and was really nauseous. And today, oh my God, I'm so hungry. Every morning I take my Naked Harvest Greens. If you know me, you know I love them. They are the best and they actually taste elite. Like I don't need to take greens. I eat so many veg, but I love them so much that I choose to drink them. This flavor is um, called banana lolly and it tastes exactly like a banana lolly. It is elite. I love it. I need to get a clean spoon. These are all so <gasps> Actually, I bought these spoons in Bali and I'm gonna use them today. I said I'm only gonna use them on special occasions, but how cute are they? So we got a little seashell one, we got a little sun and we got a little palm tree. So I'm gonna use that for my greens, cause why not? I think the best flavor in my opinion is the mango. So good, they changed the recipe and it's just elite. And then um, second to that I would say is the pineapple punch. Super sweet, but really gets rid of that greens taste. I feel like none of them have it, but that one definitely doesn't. And then I think in third is banana lolly, but third is still really good. And then I go in with my collagen for that hair growth because I bleach very often. This one tastes like literally nothing so it's really good if you want to start taking collagen put it in your coffee, your greens then I have my little scoop of creatine I've actually only recently started taking it which is so silly because I know that I've I should have started taking it ages ago it's like so like why would you not and it's so perfect for the sport that I do but I never did for some reason so now I do and I don't feel any different. I feel a little bit stronger, but I feel like I haven't been taking it enough for me to like notice anything yet. I don't know what that smell is. And then I'm also gonna have my probiotics. These are the ones that I take in Bali. Apparently they, the SB, I don't know what it means, but it's for traveling and getting really sick. So I also have that because there's something still living inside my belly. Oh, that tablet like literally stinks in my mouth. I bought these cute little coconut bowls in Bali. So this is, I'm gonna like start romanticizing my oats every morning. So um, I feel like I need to switch it around. How cute. This is like my favorite part of the morning. Like when the sun's coming in on my face. And I'm gonna eat my brekkie now because you do not need to see me stuffing my face. Bye. Okay, I'm ready for the gym. This is my fit. We've got navy csb the color i think it's studio from a very old collection so sorry but it's old and then i'm wearing my nb 9060s in i don't know what color we are strength testing today which i'm very excited about today we're testing my deadlift and my bench press which are probably the two compounds that i care about the least i've only been training deadlifts for like 12 weeks so relatively new to me don't really care about them that much because you know I haven't been doing it that long and bench I'm just terrible at so it's just kind of like a joke now but excited should be a bit of fun but interested to see what I can do on my deadlift because the last test I did was based off never really having done a deadlift before 
and then now we've done like 12 weeks of work so we're interested to see if it actually goes up it should because i'm new to it but we'll see and then my bench i really want to get out but i feel like my bench goes up about one kilo a year so we'll see having no caffeine to train today because i don't need it let's put my dentures in I'm really happy with my deadlift so my goal was 120 I ended up doing 130 which I'm very happy with because that's a 15 kilo PB in like 12 weeks which is pretty good and then my bench was 60 which is a lot lower than it should be but can't win them all can ya just got a delivery from Yopro and oh my god you me so much stuff i've got a little bit of content coming up with yopro which are honestly like one of my dream brands to ever work with because i don't think you guys understand how much yopro i consume in a day i buy like these tubs the 700 gram tubs i buy like six of them a week so i nearly have a whole one of these a day so the fact i'm working with them again really makes me happy i had a lot of emails come through while i was training and i need to really need to like put my phone on do not disturb so i can't see them but i was reading through them while i was testing which is really bad because it was messing with my head a little bit the sun is shining and i really want to get outside but i'm not gonna let myself until i finish my emails because i've got a lot to get through and then i'm also going to send a couple messages and then at least i can tick that off and then i think i'll do all my content planning outside because i can handwrite that and i like something about sitting outside and being on a screen is just it's too dark, my phone overheats, my laptop overheats, and then it gives me a chance to charge my devices and be off them. Okay, emails are done so far, unless any more come through. And now I'm making my second breakfast because one is never enough, and it is always my omelette. I actually got the ick for eggs in Bali. I had an omelette every morning, and I normally have like oats for my breakfast. So I had the ick so bad. Like, I feel like I've seen that so much, like, on social media. Like, people thinking eggs are disgusting. And I, like, could never see where they were coming from. And then, randomly, I just saw eggs were feral. But now I like them again, I think. So I'm making them. Got my omelette with zucchini, kale, and ricotta. I'm going to make this. And then outside, I need to um, plan some reels that I'm doing this week. So basically, if you follow my Instagram, I feel like I'm like more of like a reels kind of person. Like I post a lot of reels and it's kind of like, I guess my job. Um, so planning content takes a lot longer than just say if I did like just photo content because obviously I've got to create a video. So I've got two like big reels this week that I need to film it will take a lot of planning i've got like a brief that i need to follow they're both super exciting so i'm really excited to um make them the first one involves oakley so basically oakley is famous pretty much we've got a famous dog in the house so that one is going to be so fun to film hopefully he is obedient otherwise it could take a long time and then the second one i need to film i need to do some recipes which I feel like I don't really need to be creative with because they're like products that I literally make recipes out of a million times a day. So that's going to be fun. So yeah, I'm just going to plan the videos. I'm going to bring like a notebook out and do that out in the sun to get my fix of vitamin D. And then I'll come in and do some more work. All right. So I've got my recipe reel all planned out. I also responded to... Um, all my like business related DMs. I have the worst lisp. I feel like I say it every video. For some reason my Invisalign is just, I have a lisp with it now. Anyways, I responded to my business. So I can't even say that. My, you know what I'm saying? Those kind of DMs that I get by Instagram. They sometimes happen. All right, so I'm gonna go through my accounting spreadsheet from the month of July send through all my invoices that haven't been sent for that month make sure my gst and my tax and all that is all split up and yep 
that hopefully should not take too long. But I say that every time and it does. All right, talk to you soon. Okay, so my invoices are sent, I think, all of them. And then um, I also just sent through a brand that I work with in July, all of their insights. So basically how it all works for a job is like, obviously you'll be communicating by email. Then normally you'll get given like your brief of what you sort of have to do. And then you'll um, get given like your date guidelines and your posting guidelines and when the first draft is due and you pick your products and blah, 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 do all that. Then you obviously film the content, then you send it for approval and you also like send your caption for approval and then either the brand will accept it or they will ask you to reshoot and change something or change an edit, could be literally anything. And then you upload it and then once it's uploaded, then you wait a couple days and you send through your insights and then you get paid for it. So just being transparent, that's how it all works. Okay, so I've just been sent through a um, brief of a job for this month. So that'll give me like the dates that I need to work with and then I can obviously pop them in my calendar and then backtrack to figure out when I'm actually gonna film them. And in some cases it means that I'll need to like book into using a gym or book into using a studio, depending on sort of what they are after. So yeah, I'm gonna work through that now shouldn't take too long once that's done i think i might take a little break and walk to my po box because i have a feeling there might be some parcels there something else that i forgot that i need to do is i need to book some flights because i'm going to melbourne in three weeks two weeks around so i'm going to book them now hopefully they are cheap ish would be nice they actually look like they're gonna be really cheap I feel like flights these days have been so expensive. Like when I went to Perth in March, first of all, I couldn't even fly from the Gold Coast. I had to fly from Brisbane and they cost me like a thousand dollars. Whereas going to Bali cost me like 600. That's why I keep going in case you were wondering. All right, flights are booked and I managed to book them all with points, which is such a bonus. Um, and I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna go on a quick little walk to my PO box. And I'm also gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some things for a video that I need to film tomorrow. And then I'm gonna come home and have some lunch. All right, we have got some parcels. So I've got two, which is a great amount. First parcel is from Mecca. I wasn't expecting a parcel from them. So Oh my god, they sent me all of these liquid eyeshadows. I didn't even know that was a thing. Thanks, Mecca. This one is from Colgate, it looks like. And I'm actually in the middle of editing a campaign for them, which is like super exciting because I feel like I've never worked with a company so large like that before. So I'm very excited. And this, I think, is some products that I was um, supposed to film with. That I mouthwash, another mouthwash. Toothpaste, more toothpaste, more toothpaste, more toothpaste. Oh my god, I am never going to need to buy toothpaste again. Thank you, Colgate. And I can't wait for you guys to see the little video that I've made. I'm gonna make a beef and black bean stir fry with some rice. Yum. Then once I've eaten that, I'm going to get back to work. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then log on to my ATO and pay my tax. I feel like in the past, tax time has been like Christmas for me. Like I've looked forward to it because it's always been a refund. But now that I work for myself, tax time sucks and I'm about to pay all this money to the government. I've been putting off paying my tax for like three weeks now and I'm getting all these notifications saying, you need to pay your tax. And I keep putting it off because I hate spending like big sums of money and obviously your tax is, it's not $20. So, uh, can't wait, but it's gonna feel so good when I've paid it because I know that I need to do it. It's been in the back of my mind for like all this time. I'm just gonna do it and bite the bullet so that I feel better and I can get on with my life and not have this stress that I need to pay the government because I just don't wanna do it. But 
Oh well, that's the perks of working for yourself. Okay, it's 4, 12, almost quarter past four, and I would have liked to have wrapped up around now, but I did take a little bit of time to eat my lunch. And I still need to edit a like TikTok video. So I think I'm gonna get started on that now. And then hopefully by around like 4.45, I'm gonna go on a little sunset to walk and I'll come home and finish off the vlog and then make dinner and relax. First day of work, pretty much all done. And that was quite productive, so we love that. Hopefully it stays that way. I'm going to go walk to the beach now and watch the sunset. But hope you guys liked this video and can't wait to bring you guys something different next week. Bye. I love you all.